you, you would obviously seek uh, justice. Yes, I would. Exactly. The same. It's the same. A sin. <laughs> you, you didn't understand the question I asked you, did I? Do you think yes. it is just? Listen to the question. Listen to the question. Sin, wait a minute. Listen to the question first. Because the way you seek is How do you punish sin? How? By killing an innocent being? By death. Yes. Yeah, but why an innocent being? Why don't you? The accountability is on the person who committed the sin, not on the innocent person. Because the sin was imputed to God Himself, so God Himself had to take responsibility for that sin and, and become the bearer of sin okay. for, the, for the world. Let, let me ask you this I'm, question. Listen, I'm answering you, brother. You're not going to do the same with me. I'm answering you. You don't want to accept it. You say, listen, okay. I, I don't believe it, but okay, that's such a question. No, no, you, you did not so even understand the question. Forcing doubts on the scripture, Listen. forcing doubts on the fact that someone had to pay the sins. Yeah, that's a qu the, the question I'm asking you is this: Can God in Christianity yes. forgive without spilling blood? No, because the God of, of uh, was that a yes or no? I didn't hear that. No, no? it was no. Because he, because okay. he has to punish, he has to punish it because he's a just, he's a just God, brother. No, no, I said, can he forgive without spilling blood? Can he forgive? No, he can. He can forgive. He can forgive. He but, can forgive without spilling of blood. He can forgive because he's merciful. He can forgive because he loves you. But he's also just, so he needs to judge and punish the sin. Okay. Because, and and where is the... if he doesn't judge the sin or punish the sin, okay. he won't be a, he won't be How is... a just God brother. How is killing? Now, let's, let's go for the last. No, no, you haven't finished the answer. How is killing an innocent man justice? How, How is, is killing it? Killing an innocent man, yeah. brother. Uh, Was Jesus innocent? But, he was innocent, but he willingly went to the cross. That wasn't Jesus. my question. Whether he goes willingly or unwillingly, by the way, it was unwillingly because in the Garden of Gethsemane, oh, he basically begs God to save him from the cross. No, 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 he didn't beg. He didn't no? beg, brother. He didn't beg. He was did, like, did he not put his forehead on the ground and he, tell he God up. and he cried tears? Sorry, he was sweating tears of blood. Yes. Sorry, he was sweating blood, basically. Yes. Yes. I call that begging. If that is not begging, I don't know what is begging. No, but he didn't. Uh, he, he didn't say, "Oh, please, uh, I don't want. I don't want to die." He didn't say. It. Well, he wouldn't say it in your language, would he? He said, no, but "Take this cup away to, from me, if it is your will." Yeah, but to establish let that will, will brother, be done, not mine. Confirm your point, brother. Jesus would have, would, have, would have to say, "Listen, God, why am I being punished for this?" No, he didn't say yes. that. No, 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 no. I'm not saying he did say that. I'm saying, for Jesus to prove your point, he would have said. Father, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to die for okay. the sins of the world. Maybe, Why are you may, condemning me? Maybe, then, maybe you're not understanding the point. You would, Look, maybe, maybe you're not understanding. You, you, understand. you, you know what, you know what yeah. willingly means? Willingly means to do something without questioning. Yes? Jesus in this case not only asked God to save him from the cross. It, it, no. Let me finish. I'll let you finish. Let me finish. Jesus did not only ask God to, to basically just uh, save him from the cross. He basically pleaded with God by putting his forehead on the ground. Yes? And he said, let this cup pass from me. Let thy be will, will be done, not, not mine. Not mine. Yes? Which basically shows that his will and the will of God is different. Do you agree? The will of him is... No, no, it's not different, brother. Why does he say that your will be done, not mine? Because, because he was... He was, uh, he was he had a mission to complete. Yes. That we already read in Job 5. trying 30. to bail out from the mission at no, this no, point? No, 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 bail out. Well, he's telling no, God to take out. this cup no, away no, from no, me. No, he is no, trying to bail out. No, 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 but... That's your interpretation of that, brother. That's okay, why don't you read the verse and you tell me what he says? If you think I'm, I'm just cherry picking or I'm just taking it out of context, you put it in context and you tell me exactly what Jesus does during that point in time. Okay, anyway, that wasn't the, the main, the main point of the discussion was the, the context of 530 and why Jesus, if he's God, he didn't know the last hour. Yeah. That was it. So the, the, five the 530 we have already dealt with? The two, the two yeah. So you, basically, do you think we have dealt resume, with it? To resume, uh, uh, John 530, yeah. is that Jesus has the same authority as a father because he can do... Except he father. can't do anything by himself. He's dependent on the father, on God. During his ministry, he was doing what the father was telling him to do. He was talking what the father was... was everything, everything... Because Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. Okay, you said during his ministry. Let me ask you this. Did Jesus come to the earth by his will or was he sent here by somebody else? Why is that important? Uh, because you said on, during his ministry he was listening just to the Father. I'm asking you now, before his ministry, did he come by his will? Well, the Bible doesn't say whether he came by his will or not. Well, it he does. Says, it does. If you read the Bible, it does. Jesus says, I've not come by my will. Yes. But by the will of the one who sent me. Exactly. So don't say the Bible doesn't say it. It does no. say it. Right. But it, 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 okay. So it does say it. Okay. So before the ministry, he it. was still subservient to Father, to his God. Yes. He says, he, I did not himself. come by my will. That means his will, if he wanted he to come sent, here, he, he didn't sent, come he by was, that. He, was he came by the, by the. Yes, exactly. He was sent. That's a very good word you use. Because when you send someone, you're commanding someone. Yes. 
Jesus did not come here willingly. He did not come by his will. That is the important thing. Even before his ministry, he was subservient and subordinate to the Father. He was seeking, he was basically obeying the command of God. Mm. Now let me ask you, after his ascension, mm. so we have dealt with before he came to the earth, during his ministry, both this time, he was actually dependent and following and subject to the command of God. And now let's, the things that only God can do. No, no, no. Can, yes. He cannot so do. You're not, not, not going to dance around with me on, on John 5.30, brother. I already, Wait, John 5.30, already give me the answer already. I already, already read to you the yeah. whole passage where Jesus was, was doing all these miracles and this was, uh, was he doing the it? Jews upset yeah. because he was working during the Sabbath. Was he doing it by so, himself, though? That's the point. Brother, was he dependent he was, on someone or was he doing brother, it by brother, himself? Brother, brother, brother. John 5.30 gave you the answer already. You don't have to believe it, brother. It's not about me believing. I'm telling you, read your Bible. I'm not here just to basically read you the context of John 5.30, right? And then you can either accept it or not accept it. Look, look. It's not about me accepting or not. I'm asking you. that Jesus was claiming to have divine attributes. No, he did not. He did not have any divine attributes. If I read to you that the dead will hear his voice, that he's going to resurrect the dead, that he has been given all judgment by the Father. And at Look, look. At the end, he says, I can by myself do nothing. You're ignoring that bit. I know you don't like no, it. No, no, no. Because you're ignoring because, it. Because, yeah, because he, oh, what you're doing I is you're cherry picking verses which you like. No, no, no. You are cherry picking words. How? You because you just basically read the John 5:30. You without, don't like that, without, do you? Because it's out of context. You're taking it out of context. Brother. No, it's not. The context you gave me. The context the is context about that. Said, yes. The context about yes. that that he does and all these things with the, with the Father also does. But then at the end he gives you the, the reason why he does them, because he by himself cannot do these things. He has to depend on someone who's a higher authority. You know where the, oh, the pain, you know where this is explained. Pain, wait, wait. Brother. Do you know where this is explained even in more detail? In the book of Acts, chapter two, verse twenty-two. Read it. Acts, Acts two, two twenty-two. Yeah. Two twenty-two. Yeah. That basically gives you a much clearer picture of what Jesus is and what he's capable of doing. Men of Israel, listen to these words. This is Jesus the Nazarene was a man appointed to you by God with miracles, wonders and signs that God did among you through him. Yes. Just as you, just as, just so who did the signs and the miracles? you yourself know. Yeah. Who did the signs and miracles? According to God's determined plan and foreknowledge. Yeah. You used lawless people to nail him to a cross and kill him. You read that? You use you use lawless people to nail him on the cross and kill him. That same passage that you are that you are appealing to in order to prove that uh, Jesus was dependent on God, which I which I you completely really ignore the beginning, isn't it? Brother, please, you know you know that's why we Acts two twenty two. Did this you read it? Did you understand it? Condemns the your Quran condemns Muhammad. Uh, now he's going to a different Allah. tangent now. No, 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 because I'm, I'm what what do you Jesus is a man appointed by whom? By God. Appointed. But I thought he was God. He says he was a man. He was a man. He didn't say he was a God appointed a by God. He was a man appointed by God. Appointed who was he? God. Just a man appointed by God. And who, do, and, and who did those miracles and wonders? Who did it through him? God did it through him. I know you don't like that. That's the reason you went straight to the crucifixion, resurrection bit. Because you know you like that bit. And this is what I'm saying. Instead of you arguing, Instead of you disputing what I'm telling you with regards to the context of the verse yes. about Jesus not being able to do anything by himself because it is God who is doing it through him, as, as it but says in the book of Acts. The, but why are you ignoring the, the fact that he can do only, the, only, only what God can do, brother? No, he can do only what tells him to do. Just, just as the read the book again. Acts, okay, read Acts 2. Looks like you didn't read it properly. Read it again. Acts 2.22, the one you just read. It's like, okay, like I said, brother, you don't have no, to No, no, read it again, read it. You don't have to believe it, uh, although you, you see, believe it. The reason you don't want to read it is because, because you know it clearly says that he was just he has, a man appointed by God. He has granted him the right to pass judgment because he is a son of man. Do not be amazed at this because a time is coming when all who are in the graves will hear who? His voice, the voice of, the, the voice of Jesus, and come out. Those who have done good things to the resurrection of life. So basically, it's, it's, if but he does. Jesus was just a man, brother. Look, look. The important if thing. Jesus was just a man. Look, look, look. Yeah, go on. If Jesus was just a man, brother. The things that he was claiming would be idolatry. It would, it would, it would be blasphemy because Jesus was basically saying, "Listen, it's like me saying, I'm only a man. I'm a human being. I see, and yeah. But I can do whatever God can do. Yeah. I can resurrect. I can, I can give life. I can resurrect the dead. I can forgive. Why didn't he just say he was God? If he's capable of doing all that, why didn't he just say, I'm God? Because you know, many Christians actually give this, this reason that the reason he did not say that is that because he would be killed instantly. 
if that was the case, why didn't the, the Jews reason, kill him instantly? The then? reason why he didn't go around saying, I am God, worship me, brother. Because yeah. for a first century Jew, that would have meant that he was claiming to be God the Father. Why? Because why would they think that? Because Yahweh was like a father to, to his to his to his to his creation to to the Yahweh himself says Israel, you're my firstborn. No, no, I know they believe that Yahweh was a father. Even Jesus so, believed that. Jesus so said to, to the priest, you know, so Jesus said to Mary Magdalene, I go to my father and your father. Your God, my God. My God. What does my God mean? Yes. When Jesus says my God, what does he mean? Relationship. He had a relationship from what, eternity past, brother. What kind of relationship did he have with his God? Father and son, brother. No, no, that was in the first when he says my father. He says yes. two things. He says my father and then he says my God. My God. My father, wait, wait. My father, that relationship I understand is a father-son relationship. Yes. But what is the second relationship where he says my God? My God and your God. What does it mean my God? When Jesus says my God, remember Jesus is fully God. You know this why? fully God, you know why? I didn't ask you why, I'm asking you what is the understanding of your relationship? When he says my God, what does it mean? Yahweh is God of all flesh. What do you mean? Okay. What do you mean God? How many gods are there? Okay. Yahweh. How many gods are there? One God, one don't, 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 don't answer no, but I want to understand. When you say Yahweh is a God of, of all flesh, let me, let me, let me bring you back to the topic of this conversation, brother. It's not about the Trinity. We agree that we don't, we're not talking about the Trinity. We're talking about the question about John 5:30 and why Jesus didn't know the last hour. Those are the two topics which are, we yeah. are not the Trinity. You're, you're struggling with John 5:30 because John 5:30 clearly says, "I can of myself do nothing." Even after, let's say, look, even if Jesus said that He has the attributes similar to that of the Father, He does similar to things that what God would do and no one else could do. At the end, it destroys your argument when he says these words, I can by myself do nothing. It destroys your argument. Because he was a human, had a human brain. Yeah. Did he, did, was he God at that time? Listen, brother. Was he only human or God as well? He was connected. Yeah. He was connected. Yeah. Brother, so listen. So, I was to you the context of John 5.30, brother. In which John, uh, Jesus is claiming divine attributes only attributed to God. Whether or not you want to believe that or not, based on the fact that John, uh, Jesus cannot do anything by himself. Doesn't sound like God to me. That's completely if, your, if your anyone mind. tells me that God that's says that's I right. can of myself do nothing, I will say that is not God because okay. no God would say that he cannot do anything. Okay. Even you cannot say that as a human being that I can do nothing. Okay. Sure. I mean this is this just shows yeah, right. that Jesus we, 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 Jesus Christ himself is trying to tell you that there is someone of a higher authority be, without whose permission I can do nothing. Okay? I think we are, we are going in circles with John 5.30. Okay. Let's go to the next verse which is uh, the Mark 13.32. You want to go, or the yeah, hour. yeah, you want to move to that? Hour. Yeah, let's move to that. Let's, let's go, go there. Let's move last hour. Okay, the second point that my, my brother Hashim likes to use. 40 minutes, yeah, Oh, okay. No, it's the last, it's the last <laughs> Has it been 40 hour. minutes already? Seriously, the, wow. The last time, yeah, you yeah, no. Exactly, yeah. So, the last point that my brother Hashim likes to, last, likes to use in order to disprove the deity of Jesus is that he, yeah. he wasn't all knowing because Jesus didn't know the last hour. And the Holy Spirit as well. We are going to talk about Jesus. No, we're going to talk about both. No, we're if you're going to bring the verse, I'm going to take the whole thing in context. Okay, all. Okay, okay. I, I, I got the truth and I got nothing to hide. So let's 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 uh, let's address that. Good. So go on. During his ministry, uh, would you agree that Jesus was using par uh, parables when? Yes, he was. For example, he was. Wasn't yeah. He? Okay. He was. So, the last days, Jesus was comparing it to a Jewish wedding where everybody will know it's happening, you know, it was a big, the community will know it's happening and uh, it was a big event and... Um, what is the wedding? In that? Is it in that context or is it somewhere else? Uh, no, I'm, expe I'm, expe I'm explaining to you what the, why Jesus didn't know the last hour based yeah. on, on the, on the, um, it's what, on the it's biblical it's passage where yeah. he says only the Father knows. No, no, the, the, the passage about the wedding, is it in the same uh, chapter or is it different? chapter or different thing. No, I'm, I'm explaining to you. No, but I want to know where it is. Event. So, because you, you, I want you to bring the context within what Jesus is saying. Yeah, not something in a completely different book. You know what I mean? Okay. Go on. Like, that's what I told you. The, Jesus was compared to a Jewish wedding. Okay. At the time, brother, the, it was a big event, like, like today. The wedding was a big event. The father of the groom, brother, was was responsible for the main organization of the of the wedding which included obviously the food there was no fridge at the time so they have to obviously prepare the food well in advance all the animals and stuff plus the father of the groom will also have to build a an, an extra space in, in the house for the newlyweds so out of respect and out of courtesy they gave the uh, they gave the the father of the of the groom the the 
the right to announce the, the wedding, right? Because of the fact that he was he was organizing the, the whole wedding, making the extra room in the house and so on. Which means that the bride and the groom would have known the date. But out of respect, they will give the authority to the father to announce to announce the wedding. That's what Jesus that's what Jesus uh, meant by saying only the father knows because he was comparing it to a Jewish wedding. So of course he would have he would have Where is the Jewish wedding passage? Show me. He would have known. Show me this passage. Where is it? He would have known. I'm explaining you the context of that. No, no, show me where is this passage. Where did you get this story from? The where I get the story from. I get yeah. the story from uh, from the biblical scholars. I don't know the So it is not in the Bible. Moment. So it's not in the Bible. No, it's not in the Bible. Okay, so Bible. so how do you know this context? Wait, wait, wait. I want to know how do you how do you link the context? That's fine, biblical scholars or whatever scholars. I want to know how do you know that this is what Jesus meant? Do you know what Jesus' intention was? Do you know his mind? Do you know God's mind? Brother, I have explained to you that it was biblical scholarship that this interpretation has been has been uh, unpacked. But how? I want to know how you make the because connection. It makes sense. It you makes can't just bring sense. up some story and say this is what Jesus meant. I want to know, based on the Bible, how do you connect that story of the, the wedding, or the Jewish wedding, to that of what Jesus said? Jesus said very clearly, yes, no one knows the hour. Not the angels in heaven, not the son. So when he says, not the son, except or only the father. Yes, when he says, only the father knows, was Jesus telling the truth? Only the father, of course, but he was comparing it to a Jewish wedding. No, no, no. Him. You look, he look would, would I don't buy this Jewish wedding thing because it's not in the Bible, first and foremost. Secondly, I want to know if it, even if it was by the scholars, I want to know how they link it to this passage. Yeah. Because nowhere in that passage that I've read, there's any mention of any wedding. Okay, so what you're doing there is just trying to basically build up some cock and bull story just to link the two and try to make some sense of That's it. That's why at the beginning of the conversation I said, was Jesus using par par parables during his ministry? You said yes. No, no. Parable has a meaning. It doesn't mean a Jewish wedding. Well, he was compared to a Jewish <laughs> No, no. Wedding. That's your understanding. I want, if you, look, I'll tell you what, you, you can have a valid point if you tell me where you can actually link this in the Bible. But you're saying it's not even from the Bible. It's from outside the Bible. Now the important thing is this, when Jesus says he does not know the hour, are you saying he knew it? He knew and yet he said he didn't know the hour. So Jesus deliberately lied. Only, only the Father knows. Are you saying Jesus was deliberately telling lies? That he knew the hour, yet he said he didn't know the hour? Well, he was giving all authority to the Father based no, no. on... on uh, when he knows something... On my, on, listen, I know, I, know, I know what you're telling me, bro. Yes. You basically you try to force doubts whether Jesus was lying, for was saying that he didn't know the hour, when he knew the hour. False doubt? I don't have to force doubts. This is what Jesus says in the Bible, that he did not know the hour. You're the one who wants to put a spin to it and say, yes, he didn't know the hour, yet he lied and said he didn't know the hour. Okay. You're, you're, looking, you're making Jesus look re in a very, uh, very bad light there by saying that he was being dishonest and knowing the hour, yet he's saying, I didn't know the hour. Okay. Did Jesus ever say, me and the Father are one? In what context? Uh, uh, did Jesus ever say? Did yeah, he said that, that in John 10, uh, John, John 10 30. So by saying that only the Father knows, he is putting himself with the Father there because he and the Father are one. One in what? He, I ask, that's he, the reason I ask you in what context? In John 10 30, when he says, one, The Father one, and one I are one. No, no, it, one is no spirit, it can be one in purpose. Why, one in purpose. Yeah, one in purpose. So why, why do you. Equal wait, wait, wait. He was not equal to God because he did not know the hour. Unless you're telling me Jesus was telling oh, lies oh, there. The Jews must have been crazy for trying to kill him, brother. No, the Jews, the Jews give the reason why they tried to kill him. Yeah, yeah, if you want to go to that passage, brother, bring... He was blaspheming. Yeah, why? Jesus was blaspheming, no, no. first of all. According was Jesus Jews, blaspheming or this is what the Jews said? According to the Jews, yeah. Jesus was blaspheming. Exactly, according to them. According you're right, yes. Right. Because he was making himself equal with God. That's what their claim was. Yes. Yes. And what did Jesus respond to that? Read the next passage, John 10, 34, where he says, Yes, that the scriptures cannot be broken. He points you to Psalms uh, 630, uh, sorry, what is this? Psalms uh, 8, I forgot the verse even now. Psalms 82, 6, that's the one. Yes, he's trying to say that they were called gods. He's pointing to the elders, the judges. Yes, he says they were called gods. And all I say is I am God's son. Yeah. He did not claim to be God. He's saying he's, he's basically telling that he's just like those people were called gods. I'm saying I'm God's son. I'm not calling myself even God, but I'm just saying I'm God's son. And he did not claim equality with God. So basically that blasphemy. So what you're doing wait, now, wait, wait, brother, wait. You are dismissing Jesse, uh, John Jesse, 5, 16, wait a minute. 5, let me finish 16, the let me finish the passage. Because just because he said my father and I are one, it doesn't mean that they both are equally God. No. 
It just shows that they had the same, the same, what do you say, the same purpose. No essence. They didn't even have the same essence. Okay? One was, one had a body, the other didn't have a body. It's not the same essence. But throughout this, I mean, I will recall wonderful counselor, mighty God, eternal father, prince of peace. And that was Jesus Christ. When was he called eternal father? I just told you, Isaiah. No, no, Isaiah was a prophecy. I'm asking you, when was he called eternal father? Is Jesus the father or is he the son? Eternal father, prince of, prince of peace. Yeah. Did Jesus come for peace, by the way? Did Jesus come to bring peace? Oh, so so you, now you're going to use the power to say that he didn't come to bring peace, but to set man against I'm, brother. I'm asking you, what nah. did Jesus say? Did Jesus say, I've come to bring peace? Or did he say, I've not come to bring peace, but the sword? The, 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 yeah. Yes? The sword. So they, what that means? There you go. You will know what that means? The brother? prince of peace, he did not come what to that, bring peace. What that means, brother, that's, is that to be That's an Christian, irony. That to be a Christian is not going to be easy because you're going to be hated, you're going to be persecuted, and that's exactly what happened to the disciples after Jesus' ascension, that they were persecuted My friend, and they were killed. Look here. All so prophets were, all the prophets were, pers of the, Listen, of, all prophets of were persecuted the and many were killed even by the same Jewish people. Yes? Yes. This is also mentioned in the Bible. Yes. And it's also mentioned in the Islamic primary sources. Yes. Now what I'm saying is this. Why would you consider Jesus to be God when he himself is saying that I go to my God? Because he's the son of God. No, he said I go to my God. Yeah. So you're saying the son of God has a God? Because you have, you are, your mentality, brother, you are Unitarian. That's why you don't grasp it, brother. No, am I, am it's, I, it's not I, my mentality. I, that is Jesus speaking, not me. Because, yeah, that is Jesus. So you explain to me from a Trinitarian angle that why would a God Galatians, have a God? Galatians says that the fullness of, of God's of, of, of God resides in Jesus Christ. Yeah, and what does that mean? The Godhead, <laughs> what does it mean? It means that He is He is the invisible image of the invisible ball. So if, he, if He's fully God, if He's fully God, why does He not know the hour? Why does He die I like a mortal? You, I already told you because what? He was comparing it to a Jewish wedding. And that is not in the Bible. I've already told you. <laughs> okay, listen. It's, it's based on, on, on biblical scholars. You, you don't have they to can look. Brother. In order for biblical scholars to harmonize things, they can bring up story of a Jewish wedding where the father only knows uh, when the wedding date is even though the bride and the groom know it you're trying to imply that Jesus actually knew the hour yet he said he didn't know the hour you're trying to make Jesus into being basically insincere and telling a lie how why because if you know something and you say I don't know isn't that a lie okay but he is one answer my question answer my question if you know something and you say I don't know for example if I ask you where did you park your car? Yes, mm. I want to ride with you. And you tell me, no, I did not bring a car like, today. Yeah, like, wait, 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 hear me out, like, hear me out, hear like me out. Like a hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Answer you know, my when, question. When, when we when, spoke about this yeah, last time. When I'm asked, I asked you, and I said, like, no, he, he didn't answer. limitations because he was a human being. And you just said he was fully God now. What do you mean he had limitations? Now, 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 is he fully God or is he a limited he, God? Which one is he? He set aside the glory that he had with the Father. So was he, he fully God, God or was he limited God? Now you know you're doing that now, brother? I'm not doing it, you're the one doing it. Now you are. You see red herrings? What red herrings? You brought the Colossians 2 9 in which it says, in, in Jesus, in his uh, flesh, the fullness of the glory of God resides. Did he not mention that verse? In Galatians. Yes. Right? Sorry, not Galatians. That's Colossians. That's Colossians. 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 Colossians 2 9, yeah? That's what he's mentioned. And this is what it says. If he was fully God, why did he not know the hour? And I told you already. He knew the hour, but he was comparing it to the, to the Jewish wedding where the father of the groom will be giving all respect and authority to announce the wedding. So Although everybody, the, and the, and the groom and the bride, would have known the date. Okay, but because okay the, let me ask because, you this. But because the father mm -hmm. was organizing the wedding, building an, an extra room for the, for the bride, for the, for the newlyweds, mm. for that reason, he, the, he was giving the, 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 the uh, respect to okay, announce good. the wedding. You know, using your, your example of the bridegroom and the bride who knew the hour, Imagine if somebody asks the bridegroom, do you know when the wedding date is? Yes. And he says, no, I don't know. Would he be telling a lie? Only the father, only the father knows. Yes. Would he be telling a lie? If he knew the hour and he says, I, didn't know, I, don't know the, I don't know the time of the wedding, would he be telling a lie? Can you look at our context? Yeah. Our context